Kanjivoy. Is it a plant or an animal? Have you ever walked along the beach like me and found one of these? And wondered what it was? Well, this creature lives over there at the rocky shore. Kanjivoy looks like a plant, but they're actually an animal, sharing 80% of our DNA. So don't make a tossad with this guy. Kanjivoy begin their life as an ascidian tadpole with a simple notochord spine, a dorsal nerve cord, gill slits, and a basic brain, which helps them swim. As it metamorphs, the kanjivoy absorbs its tail like a frog, along with its notochord and brain. It eats its own brain, and develops testes and ovaries. Yes, testes and ovaries. Technically, it can make its own babies. It also develops an amazing organ, the pharyngeal basket, which helps it survive the harsh, rocky intertidal zone. I think this one got a little lost. From here, it attaches to the rock and metamorphoses into its adult sessile or fixed form and stays here for life. The pharyngeal basket is the Kanjivoy's survival kit as it utilizes seawater in four different ways. First, Kanjivoy sucks seawater into the basket where it absorbs the dissolved oxygen via gill slits to breathe. Second, it filters out plankton, which passes to the stomach and intestines for digestion. The filtered water, digested meal, and any other waste products are then all expelled. The Kanjivoy here at Hastings Point collectively filter 180 million litres of water each day. That's 72 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Isn't that incredible? The third function of a Kanjivoy's pharyngeal basket is to store water during low tide by sealing its special valves to prevent dehydration. With its stored water, it can continue to breathe and eat. But the water supply dilemma isn't the only threat, as danger also lurks. At low tide, Kanjivoy is left vulnerable to predators in search of food, fishermen looking for bait, or the most threatening of all, the child seeking holiday entertainment. Here, its fourth survival feature activates, when the Kanjivoy squirt out jets of stored water as a defense mechanism, much to the surprise of a predator and the delight of a child. But why does it look like a plant? Good question. Well, this green covering is an algae for sea lettuce or ulva. A Kanjivoy doesn't move once it attaches to a rock. This presents an excellent opportunity for the sea lettuce to grow undisturbed by the Kanjivoy's movements. From its similarities to humans, then the fact that while it looks like a plant, it's actually an animal. It's clear that the Kanjivoy is a unique and amazing creature.